the UP National Engineering Center Executive Director Professor Ferdinand Manigdeg, the Project CNAG Project Leader Dr. Art Principe, DOE Renewable Energy Management Bureau Director Mylene Kapongkol, FILSA Space Information Bureau Director uh, Dr. Ariel Blanco, the UP Training Center for Applied Geodesy and Photogrammetry Director Dr. Zar Jaquiri Sarmiento, our Philip our dear Filipino scientists and researchers, stakeholders from the private and public sectors, our friends from the media, ladies and gentlemen, good, uh, a good day. We at the Department of Science and Technology, Philippine Council for Industry, Energy, and Emerging Technology Research and Development, thank the organizers of this uh, uh, colloquium, the Project Sina Colloquium, which shines the light on the use of geomatics for solar research and applications. This is a very timely event as we continue to feel the brunt of escalating oil prices that domino into our electricity cost and affect basic commodities. As a developing nation, we can truly benefit from science, technology, and innovation where we can maximize the potential of our energy resources and utilize this in accelerating the economy. Over the last decade, we have completed 79 projects for the energy sector with a spending of overall of about 346.7 million. For 2021, the energy sector ranked 11th in the highest budget allocation. We are looking to increase this as the demand for more energy efficient technologies are sure to surge among those uh, uh, amidst the global crisis. Let's uh, take a look at the initiatives. Through our Balik Scientist program, we have attracted our Filipino scientists abroad to share their knowledge, experience, and network to our local scientists. And at present, we have a roster of Balik scientists with uh, an expertise in the field of energy. We can connect you to them uh, with the uh, expectation of uh, in help, uh, enriching your uh, research uh, activities. On solar research and development projects, we supported the development of a grid-tied inverter for the Philippine electronics uh, companies. This is a 2 kilowatt capacity grid inverter, uh, a grid-tied inverter for a single-phase household level net metering system, which was developed by a local electronics company uh, headed by its association, the IAPI. The main research objective is to design and develop a cost-effective grid-tied inverter to support uh, the net metering program of uh, the government. The microgrid's PV uh, uh, solar system is an off-grid 50 kilowatt hybrid solar PV system, which aims to uh, provide electricity to the remote community of Makopa, Barangay Manorigao, New, Pada New Pataan, Compostela Valley. The supplied electricity will power street lights, houses, schools, and other educational uh, facilities and uh, agricultural facilities such as corn or rice milling machines and other equipment or uh, devices. The P-Solar Payment Innovation for Solar Home System Ownership by Layaway Routine or P-Solar is a technology installed in Davao City, Davao del Sur to use a mobile-based platform for the digitization of payments and real-time monitoring of solar home systems, health and uh, usage. This technology was completed last year, and we hope that the technology will be co commercialized and make a lasting uh, impact to off-grid uh, locations. We also supported the uh, Concentrating Solar Power for Microturbine Applications Project. This study is uh, designed uh, and developed to uh, concentrate solar power uh, for electricity generation using microturbines for process heating, and other energy application purposes. The design is a 10 meter diameter concentrating solar parabolic uh, dish. We also supported the nanostructures for solar cell applications, which focus on the development of new innovations in solar cell energy research based on nanotechnology and to develop a working solar, de working solar devices with measured e efficiencies. We also supported the uh, fabrication of gallium arsenide-based solar cell device, which has the advantage of a direct band gap that can absorb and emit light efficiently. 
to further uh, improve its efficiency, researchers uh, integrated nanostructured materials into the fabricated uh, gas uh, gallium arsenide based solar cell devices. If, uh, the uh, the field lidar two uh, Philippine Renewable Energy Resource Mapping for lidar surveys uh, also came up with an assessment of the renewable energy resource potential for wind, solar, hydropower, and biomass, and performed site suitability assessment for the development of these renewable energy resources. Meanwhile, uh, as part uh, the Mindanao Renewable Energy Center is uh, hosted by the Atene de Davao University. And uh, once completed, it will be open to uh, government, academic, and industry partners to support research and development on available renewable energy sources and appropriate uses of uh, the technology. Towards technology transfer and commercialization, the USD Pichard also funded the project Charging uh, in Minutes or the Charm which is designed to reduce the lengthy charging time of EVs from numerous hours in just a matter of uh, minutes. In 2016, we were able to uh, pilot the technology in Kawayan City with the commercial deployment of the first ever e-trike fast charging station to the uh, country. We also supported the Atene de Manila University in technology enhancement and commercialization of uh, Exora Intellex. Uh, this is an energy analytics machine learning plat platform for industrial smart energy management to reduce electricity costs. This project is envisioned to help industrial and small and medium-sized enterprises or SMEs to understand their energy consumption through analytics and patterns that will allow them to make better operational decisions while uh, reducing costs. Providing uh, solutions for complex societal issues and accelerating clean energy uh, innovations. The following are the mission-oriented R&D programs in energy sector that we intend to focus on in the future. These include uh, energy storage systems for power application. We wanted to look at the viability of hydrogen production from uh, renewable energy sources. Uh, rather, this uh, may be conversion from RE sources to hydrogen. We wanted to our researchers to uh, investigate the extended lifespan of lead acid battery. Uh, we wanted our researchers to look at uh, uh, the use of indigenous materials to uh, fabricate or to come up with a cost-effective battery and a cost-effective balance of systems component for renewable energy, such as solar, wind, small wind, micro hydro, ocean, and others. And lastly, we wanted to reduce the intermittent power supply of installed RE systems through applications or utilization of mechanical, electromechanical based storage, uh, energy storage uh, systems. In conclusion, we urge our stakeholders present here today to uh, join us in finding new initiatives and projects to develop new technologies in, energy sec in the energy sector to foster growth and economic prosperity. We call on the industry and private sector to adopt the technologies that have been shown here today and use the facilities that we have presented to uh, develop innovations in clean energy generation. Uh, part of this is also the uh, Project CNAG, which attempts to map out the uh, solar energy uh, potential all over the Philippines, considering the micro uh, scale uh, weather conditions in uh, the country. So we hope that this will increase the level of uh, investment as well as uh, confidence uh, among those that are uh, looking at uh, solar energy uh, as a uh, means to support the or increase the mix of uh, renewables into our energy uh, supply. So in, in, in general, we'd like you to share the good news to others as this could raise awareness and even invite uh, investors, both local or foreign, to put up uh, new facilities that will harness uh, renewable energy. So if you have uh, good ideas to uh, pursue, please don't hesitate to call or message us in our social media channels. We're always uh, here to uh, listen to your ideas. With that, again, I thank and congratulate the uh, CNAG team 
for putting up a wonderful uh, project and wish them well in uh, the further activities towards its uh, completion and success. Maraming salamat at magandang araw.